Hi, this is Rick. Welcome back. This is a quick script that I've just finished. Um, it allows you to drag and drop players in a multiplayer game um, when they are incapacitated. This just builds onto the existing vanilla revive system that Bohemia has. Uh, it just adds an additional feature, which, which is something which you get in, obviously, more advanced uh, revive systems. Um, and medic systems, but uh, it stops short of becoming uh, the Armour 3 medical system. You know, it's like I think some of the uh, mods have taken the, the the medical side of things a little too far and uh, they become so intrusive and uh, disabling in many respects. So this all this does is it adds the ability to drag a player that's incapacitated. So this is a multiplayer game, obviously, and this guy is just one of my uh, teammates. He's just standing around. He's currently connected to my local area network. Um, unfortunately, he had to take one for the team. So he goes into the normal revive uh, state, uh, the vanilla revive state. But in this case, let's say he's in an open area. I want to drag him somewhere. So I just quickly grab hold of him and drag him. You can see, if I just bring the camera up, that the attach point is very accurate. It's at the back of his harness. There's no glitching through the helmet or, in his, or into his arm. It's also useful for mowing the lawn. If you ever have a, a teammate that you know, is willing to help you mow the lawn, that's useful. If you don't have a grass cutter around. Um, okay, so release body. And then obviously you can go up and revive the, the downed unit in a more, in a safer place. Uh, very simple to use the script. You just simply run a, a line in your init.sqf file, so it runs on all the machines, uh, and um, just adds additional feature which is very useful. Because the vanilla feature of R uh, Bohemia Interactive is, is great for Armour 3, but it would be one of the key features is being able to just drag the player, a player into a safer position while you're trying to revive them. Unfortunately, the, as you know, the default revive system uses the kneeling animation, so you, despite uh, despite you uh, reviving the person, you're still in a pretty dangerous position because you, you're kneeling. There is a revive animation, a lying down revive animation, which, frankly, I would have implemented that if I was Bohemia because at least then if it can determine how close the nearest enemy is and how, uh, how much of a threat you're in when you're trying to revive a player and then switch to the, the, the lying down revive instead of the kneeling revive. That would have been a nice addition. It's fairly simple to do as well. Anyway, so this is the script uh, addition to, um, that I've just finished. As I said, you can just simply, uh, you drop it into your scripts folder, just drop a line in your init.sqf, and, and it adds that drag and drop feature. Uh, so thanks for watching. If you want to get the script, please subscribe, like if you found this useful. And uh, send me a friend request on Steam. I do this to filter out all the spam on Steam Workshop. Um, and then I'll grant you access, and you can have access to all my missions and all my scripts, as well as you You will also get a, a bit of free uh, scripting help if you need it, uh, or if you just want imp to help implementing some of my scripts into your mission. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this content and are new to this channel, make sure you click on the subscribe button and the bell next to it so you can get notified when we release new content. As always, thanks for watching and see you next time.